guys, it's Catherine, and today for Tea Tuesday, I'm actually not drinking tea today. I'm drinking Gatorade because my allergies hit me and tea just did not sound appealing because, you know, like sugary sweet stuff like running down your throat. Um, so this is actually, I love orange Gatorade, but my sister picked up this one. She thought it was orange, but it's actually tropical mango. It's really good. You can kind of just taste like a pineapple, like scent. It tastes like you're drinking... Uh, what's that stuff, like Hawaiian Punch or something, but not Hawaiian Punch, because I don't like Hawaiian Punch, because it reminds me of the orange Gator red Gatorade, and the red Gatorade just messes with my throat. Anyway, that's besides the point. Today I'm going to do how to survive uh, summer and fall football games, and I guess winter, so summer, fall, and winter. <laughs> um, here in South Carolina, we kind of just jump from summer to winter but our winter is like a fall kind of winter I don't I don't know it's hard to explain so for the summer football games one thing you need to do is deodorant this is important for all football games but especially for summer because you're jumping up down you're like pouring sweat and you're around all your other friends so make sure you put this on maybe twice before you leave out the door another thing that's good for year round football games is just a little clutch that you can put your money and your keys and your phone in. This fits my iPhone keys and some money um, to buy like snacks at the game and you can leave like your actual like license and stuff in the car you don't have to worry about losing that. If you lose something it's just going to be like a couple of bucks hopefully you don't lose everything. <laughs> um, so yeah this is really cute you can buy and find these anywhere probably even Walmart you can find these little things. I don't know where mine's from my boyfriend's mom got it for me for Christmas and I love it I just I use it all the time. And another thing for summer football games is comfortable shoes. You're standing for, there for like two hours. You don't really want to wear tennis shoes and you don't want to wear like like high heels. Hopefully you're not wearing high heels. So you want to find some comfortable flats. These are pretty comfortable um, to stand in, but sometimes they aren't. A lot of flats aren't very comfortable. So find your most comfortable, comfortable pair of flat sandals. Or an, I guess I could have like a little heel to like give you some ridge in your foot okay so I think that's all for summer I thought I had more but I don't um for the fall football games you want to layer 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 oh excuse me um for shoes I recommend getting wearing moccasins or boots um and then with a pair of fuzzy socks only one or two pairs because if you go beyond that your feet are gonna lose the circulation of blood and then they're just gonna basically fall asleep and then they're falling asleep and it's cold and you can't feel them and you're gonna like your feet are just gonna fall off basically <laughs> so make sure you don't wear too many socks because I make that mistake all the time and it's just very painful afterwards after the game and during the game if you stay the whole time um for clothes what I recommend doing or for pants is wear a pair of leggings and then layer over that skinny jeans and sometimes I'll even do cropped leggings and then leggings and then skinny jeans, depending on how cold it is. I do skinny jeans because they're tight against the body and they're not flared. They're not going to let heat out. And then for tops, I'll wear a sports bra because you don't need to be wearing no push-up wire you like all the way to the sky bra. And then a tank top. Just It's all about the layers, guys. And then a thermal top like this one. And then a sweatshirt, a kind of light sweatshirt. And then from there, depending on how cold it is, I'll maybe do another sweatshirt and then a jacket, like a winter jacket, or I'll just do a winter jacket. And then along with that, I'll always wear a scarf because that, if my, like, if this is poking through this or something, a scarf would cover that right up and you wouldn't even know. Um, so I'll do a scarf, you know, like an infinity way or whatever. And, um,. Usually I'll wear my hair down and don't wear heavy earrings because heavy earrings will pull your earlobes and it helps uh, your heat, the heat release your body. And another cool thing to have for winter football games is gloves that allow you to text because I know everybody wants to text your friends, tweet about the football game or Instagram or um, you know, maybe I text your mom and dad where you are <laughs> or text my dad. My dad always wants to know the scores of games. So some gloves that um, you can text in. I'm not sure. I know I have texting gloves, but I'm not sure if these are it. Um, yeah. So 
that is today, see Tuesday. My brain has been going everywhere today. I'm actually filming this on Monday because tomorrow is my boyfriend's birthday, so I'm gonna be at his house, you know, partying. <laughs> Not really, it's Tuesday. And, um, and then I have all these tests and quizzes, and uh, I'm like, oh my gosh, anatomy and physiology is killing me, killing me. But I'm excited because I'll get to use the stuff I use in there for the rest of my life life because I want to be a nurse. So anyway, I'm sorry if I look like a hot mess in this video, but I hope these tips help you when you go to a football game. And if you're not a football game person, I would encourage you, to, encourage you to at least go to one football game this year because it really is a lot of fun. Just grab two or three of your friends and go and buy a Coke or if it's cold, buy hot chocolate um, and just have a fun time. If you don't know anything about football, just make fun of the people around you or people watch. That's, that's always fun to do. So anyway, I hope you guys like this video and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!